how do you deal with the, the talk and everything that's going on on social media and all that stuff at uh, the point that Tennessee's at right now? How does the team deal with that? Well, you know, we don't we don't focus on that stuff. We just focus on you know this complex, you know this grass right here and that stadium over there. You know, we don't worry about you know, what's going on outside and that outside noise. We just focus on you know what we have to do to get better. Well, you're, you're a guy who kind of grew up around the game, and so this is this kind of stuff. I mean, you've been around it, you've seen it. You know, for do you worry about other guys though. I mean, who who are going through this kind of thing for the first time? Because they, you know, it's easy for you maybe to sit here and say that you don't pay attention to it, but I'm sure there's other guys who, who maybe do. Yeah, you know, that's that's why I think uh, it's important to kind of, you know, embrace, you know, the roles that Coach Jones kind of tells us. You know, we need leaders. We need guys to step up, you know. That's something where I can I can step up and lead and I can step up and be a guy to tell guys, you know, we're, we're fine, we're good, don't worry about this, don't worry about that. And, you know, use my background in football, you know, to help the team out. How do you feel like you're holding up physically? You've shed a lot of weight. You, know, you seem to be playing a lot more reps. Just how do you feel as a whole right now? Oh, uh, good. You know, <laughs> extra weight being off helps. Uh, you know, you get to be able to move around a whole lot better, get off way faster and things like that. So uh, just keeping that off and, you know, just making sure I'm staying in the training room, you know, making sure the body's good, make sure, you know, keep up the maintenance, you know, everything, you know, don't get re-injured or anything like that. How was it to see Shy get back out there a little bit? You know, it was good. Saturday, yeah, yeah. It's good to see old Boogie Big get back out there, you know. Always good to see Shy feel with this. Uh, you know, all the time he's missed and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's always good to see him back on the field. Tough guy to keep down, I guess, right? I mean, you know, yeah. everything he's been through, it's like he just bounces back every yeah, time. Yeah, bounces right back. What do you, it looks like the division can be tough to win at this point. What do you use as motivation for the rest of the season to keep going? Just winning every day, you know, being 1-0 each week. You know, that's our only option right now, you know. Just going out winning every single game that uh, we have left, these seven games, you know, just being 1-0 every single day. Winning that day and then winning on that Saturday. Do you feel like there's some payback owed to South Carolina after last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, you know, they got one on us last year. No, I didn't get to make the trip. You know, uh, watching at home with the sling on, but you know, that was that was one that you know we all want back. So you know, it's we get our chance now. Obviously, the coaching staff's been getting a lot of heat as well as the team the last few days. Have you noticed any difference from the coaches this week and the way they're responding, anything like that? Or? No, just I mean, the only response, the only. The you know, response that we have is, you know, just get out here and work after Saturday. You know, that's, that was everybody's, that was on everybody's mind from the end of the game until now. You know, it's, when can we get back out here? When can we put the pads on? Do you like, ha would you like having an off week at this point in the season? Would you rather just gone back on the field, try to erase that memory as soon as possible, or do you think you benefit from having two weeks? I mean, I'm, I think I speak for everybody on the team. I say we wish we could have, you know, just hit the restart button and started the whole game back over, but, you know, can't do that, but you know you can get ready for the next week. And, you know that's that's all it is. You know just getting ready for the next week. You know that the bye week coming when it comes is, you know it's just whatever it is. You know you got to play football games regardless. So uh, you know, I think it came at a good time. You know just help our team get some reps in this week. You know, some guys get healthy. You know just uh, get ready for South Carolina. Who's leading this team right now? You know we have you know we always have different leaders. You know we don't really just try and have just one leader, this guy's, oh, he's the leader, oh, he's this, he's that. Because then you're just looking at one guy to make all these different decisions. So Coach Jones really talks about, you know, power of the position, you know, power of the position. You guys policing your own position group, making sure your position group is, you know, doing you know, the best it can do. And, you know, that, that responsibility falls on the other guys. You know, as juniors and seniors, we're the ones who set the example all day in practice, set the example in meetings, set the example in lifting. All that type of stuff. Set the example in the classroom. Thank you.